Hello and welcome to this brand new video tutorial. Um, today in this tutorial we'll be making this Halloween boost here. In GIMP. This was originally a Photoshop tutorial but I've rearranged it into a GIMP one. So let's go ahead and create this image. You'll be needing the link in the description for the uh, inspiration for this because you'll need to be using some screenshots and more images from that site. This is a very late Halloween tutorial, by the way. So, print a new image, 800 by 800 will do fine. Select your gradient tool and set the foreground color to this color, D1F3D2 for the HTML notation, and your background color as 5E6D5F. And set the shape on radial and we'll just drag from the center out to the side. Sorry about that little message there on my screen. And now's the time we'll need to take a screenshot, so go file open these layers and open up this one and I'll scale it up. This Basically, this is a screenshot of one of the ghosts on the Inspiration website. Um, you're either taking a screenshot using the Command Shift 4 on a Mac, or you can use Snipping Tool on a Windows box. Basically, I'm just going to render this image by using the Pass tool, and I will resume the recording when I have finished. And after you've finished um, putting the nodes around, you can hit the Enter key and you'll get a selection like this. And then you want to hit the Command I, Command X, or Control if you're using the Mac. Then hit the Command I again, create a new layer. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'll just do it anyway. And fill that in. Select None, and I'll delete this one. Now I'm just going to get the Paintbrush tool and I'm going to make sure it's on a hard brush, a size of 20, and fill in my patchy cutting. So I'll just hit that brush and go down like that. That's pretty good. Doesn't matter if it doesn't have to be completely perfect like that. That seems pretty good. You don't want too much of a quite. There we go. Now that we're going to make use of the ScriptFu plugin, so what I'll do is first go to ScriptFu, Layer Effects, Inner Shadow, and I'll set it on the color on white, opacity on 60, blending mode on screen, sign on 1, 2, 2, and I'll click OK. And let that go. Um, yeah, it does does take some time since it is doing quite a bit. Sorry if the video is a bit jumpy, it's because my screen recorder is just doesn't like GIMP, I do not know why. If anyone knows how to fix the problem of iShow UHD not liking GIMP, it like stops and stuff. I don't know what it, why it does it. Anyway, we're going to set the opacity of the original layer on zero. And here we have our little wispy layer. The next step is to create some highlights. So I'll do that in a second. Okay, so get your ellipse select tool and create a new layer. And basically we're going to create an ellipse like that one and fill it in with white. Click select none, get your rotate tool and we're going to rotate it like so. And we're going to put it just and we're going to lower the opacity to opacity to 32 on that. And what I'll do get my erase tool and I'll just simply Go 
I'm trying to just smooth off. Or I can just leave it like that. I think that'll be fine. Um, we're going to create another ellipse. So make a brand new layer. And it's going to be a smaller one. So like that. Fill it in with white again. Select none. Rotate line. Okay, so. And put that. Like that. And the opacity again. And create a final layer for the highlights. It's going down here, so we want one like that. And fill it in with white again. Select none. Get our rotate tool. Let's open it like that. It's way too big. My fault. What I'm going to do is get the eraser tool and I'm just going to erase this that I don't need. Oh, there's quite a lot of it. Get a fuzzy brush for this job. And I'll basically just move that here. Now the opacity and basically merge those all down. And the next thing we need to do, let's have a look at the original, is I think we are up to our skull here. So let's get started on that one. So, again, you need to take a screenshot of the skull. So, get file, open its layers. And I've got my skull right here. And again, I've got to call it quite large. So, see how big we want it. I want it. And it passes. Let's see. In fact, I'm gonna make it a tad smaller, like so. Is that too big? Just a bit too big. And I think that should do. We can always resize it when we're done. Again, I'm going to. it out so get on my no tool and I think I might just fast forward this section and I'm back again after that, um, so hit enter on that one, command or control I, command or control X, select none, uh, hit enter again, sorry, and then on this layer we're just going to fill it in with that colour, which is with that one, I think. Select none, and then I'll delete this whole. Oh, that skull is a bad cut. Very bad cut. Um, I'll see if I can patch that up. But of course, you'll be doing heaps better cutting than I am, because that my cutting is absolutely awful. There. Yeah. I oh, know you'll probably be able to mess that around. But simply, I'm just going to flip it so it's like that. We're looking much better already and we're going to move it like that the next step is we're going to add some eyes and do some shadows so get yeah. okay we're going to add some shadows and highlights and eyes and nose and stuff with our skull but first let me just rotate it a bit so it's 
looking down like so. Move it back a bit. Okay, now let's go into script food. Oh, first you need this brown colour here. 6A6351. And we're going to copy that one. And if you also need the last colour, it's F6EEE3. But we're going to be using that one. And go to script foo, layer effects, in the shadow. And make sure the colour is set onto that one. Uh, the blending mode on multiply, opacity on 75%, the size on 66 and that's quite good. So go ahead with that. Again, it's going to take some time because script foo, I don't know what it's doing, it's just messing around. Um, oh, that is too strong. We're going to have to lower the opacity on that one. Just a bit more. And simply merge that down. Now I'm going to do the eyes. The eyes are just simple, very simple um, eclipses like that sort of size. And get the fill tool. And we're going to be using this brown 292929. Is that brown? No, it's grey. Um, is that brown? Yes, that brown. It's the same brown as we use for the highlights, so you've probably got that in your swatches there. And we're going to move that. And let me have how I positioned it in the riddle, like that. So on an angle. What? How did I do it again? Oh yeah. So I'm going. And duplicate that one. We're gonna make it that smaller. That duplicate. Like so. Rotate it. Like that. Move it down here. Duplicate that and make it tiny like that simply move it down there duplicate that one get the flip tool flip it and get our move tool once more I'm gonna move it like how did I do it again Ah, that needs to be facing that way. Rotate and rotate it once more. And we'll simply drag it down like that. And of course you'll put more care into it. Um, so that's the eyes and facial features of the skull. We'll be back in a sec. The final few steps are we're just going to merge all our facial features down. and drag our slider down to minus 75 okay. and we've got a grey look now now we're just going to add a quick shadow by grabbing our ellipse tool dragging the shadow under that making a new layer just above the background filling it in with black On this layer you can go to a script foo layer effects and you can add a glow to it but I'm not going to do that for now it looks quite good how it is you can add many more features um, of course yours would be more perfectionist but thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this spooky tutorial and I'll catch you in my next video